Hello, Marcus Lim here with a very quick look at the autobiography of Catherine Janeway. Okay, so this is the latest in a series of autobiographies of, I guess, well known Star Trek characters like obviously uh, James D. Kirk. So we got the autobiography of Kirk, and we also had the uh, Picard one. Okay, so this is. Uh, yeah, the latest in that series. Uh, one thing to note is, in terms of the length, it's actually a much smaller book, right? As you can see, if I'm comparing, like, the thickness of the book, right? This is, yeah, I think only, like, 200 pages or so, okay? Uh, so the subtitle is, The History of the Captain Who Went Further Than Any Had Before, right? Obviously, right? Drawn into the Voyager, drawn into the Delta Core, and then to come home. Um, so here's a portrait of uh, Janeway, uh, portrayed by Kat Mulgrew. Set a course for home, okay? Um, Alright, so let's have a look at the book without the jacket. So it's just pretty plain. Alright. So, the autobiography of Catherine Janeway. Alright. So, let's see what we've got. Um, Alright. Edited by Una McCormick, who's, uh, you know, a, a really good uh, Star Trek uh, writer. Uh, so, here's the contents introduction by Naomi Wildman. Okay. And then we have about 12 chapters. Now, having read this already, I have to say that more than, more than half is actually about uh, events leading up to uh, the events that we see in Star Trek Voyager. So I think it's only like up to maybe 7 or 8 that we actually get to see, you know, the events depicted in the series. Okay? So, so that's why yeah, a lot of the highlights of the book are actually about her formation years I guess you know childhood leading up to uh, years in the academy that kind of thing alright so here's an introduction Naomi Wildman okay um, it says here there can only ever be one captain of Voyager Catherine Janeway Naomi Wildman alright so so yeah as I said right this begins with uh, childhood and you know tracks all the way up to uh, um, years in the academy um, let me just maybe quickly um, flip through this because it's just words I'll flip to the yeah, middle here where you can see Catherine Aim Janeway uh, so this is a graduation photo stuff with academy um, so that's her at I think age 17 or so. Okay. Um, and what else have we got? So here's art by her mom, actually, Janeway's mom, who's an artist. Right? Um, Gretchen Williams. Okay. And this is uh, artwork by Jan uh, her sister, Phoebe, who's takes after the mom, right? Artistic. So. And then here's uh, another, here's one with, um, what is it, Cadet Janeway piloting the Colditz Cock 2, okay? And then here's some uh, sad news about her dad uh, dying in the line of duty, um, Edward, Edward Janeway, okay? Here's her with Boothby. <laughs> Um, friend and mentor Wolfie. Now her with the dog. Um, and then here follow my Mark Johnson at the bottom here. Also of the dog. Um, yeah, the dog's name is Jess, I think. So what else have we got? <coughs> Right, here's uh, a nice one. 
Art by Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, who gave me wings? It's a nice portrait of her. And yeah, here's a classic shot. The Voyager crew. Okay. And um, then finally we have... Oh, who is this? Now this isn't revealed to the very end of the book. And I'll get there. Um, but uh, yeah, let's keep going. So as I said, right, a lot of the highlights have to do with the formation years. But when we do get to uh, the events of Voyager, yeah, it's just uh, pretty cool to be able to see the events uh, from you know perspective, from her perspective. You know what she thinks, how she feels, that kind of thing. So for instance, she says there is one series of events that preys on my mind after all those years. Uh, on Voyager. <clears throat> so this is the classic uh, episode two, two weeks, right? Where Tuvok and Neelix kind of got merged into one being, and you know she had to kind of make a choice to actually um, split them up uh, into uh, Tuvok and Neelix. So in the process, killing Tuvix. But that's the choice that she have to live with. She says, "I'll learn to live with it." Okay. Yeah, so it's uh, many touches like this that makes this pretty cool because you get to see it from from her perspective and and uh, yeah, so Una McCormack, right, really captures her voice and inflection really well. You can almost hear like, like Kat Mogu's voice as you're reading, which is really cool. Um, so, you know, some nice touches also include things like... Uh, once they got back, you know, what is the very <coughs> last thing that uh, Chakotay said to her? He says, Catherine, it's been my privilege to serve. Okay, so on the bridge, just before they, um, you know, came, went down from the ship. So that's the last word that they had together. Um, and as I mentioned, one very last thing. One very last surprise. She is, of course, my daughter, Ensign Amelia Janeway. Okay, which again I'll come back to this picture. It says here, uh, Amelia Janeway with her daughter Ensign Amelia Janeway. Uh, Starfleet Academy. Okay, so pretty cool, pretty happy ending <laughs> for this uh, beloved. Um, character, uh, Janeway, Catherine Janeway, um, and yeah, as I mentioned, if you're a Star Trek Voyager fan, then I'm sure you want to check this out, right? Um, so, yeah, Una McCormick, I believe, is working on the next autobiography of uh, Spock, Mr. Spock himself, um, which I think should be coming later this year. So I look forward to that as well, um, and yeah, do pick up a copy if you like what you see. So thanks for uh, watching this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.